For our third lesson in our matter unit, we're going to be looking at physical properties that we can use to describe different objects or different substances. And when we talk about properties, basically what we mean are just characteristics that we might use to describe something. All matter can be described based on different properties that it has. Um, some of these we would consider to be physical properties and some would be chemical properties. Today we're going to be looking at the physical properties, however, which are properties or characteristics that we can observe without having to change the object or substance. Um, we can look at it, we can measure it without actually altering it, without creating any new substance from it through chemical reactions. For instance, if we look at an apple, we can examine its physical properties, we can describe its color, its shape, its size, its density, its mass, its texture, so many different things about it that we can observe just by looking at this apple or just by measuring it. Physical properties can include things like color, mass, volume, density, melting point, boiling point, conductivity, how well heat or electricity might pass through it, solubility, whether it dissolves in water, viscosity, how well it flows or how resistant it is to flowing in the case of liquids, or flexibility, how well it bends. And, you know, it's important that we're familiar with what the different properties are and how we can use them to describe different materials, different substances that we might encounter during our science class.